welcome to Raw TV, Real and Willing Television. I'm Rebecca Vargas. And I'm Michael Steiner, and tonight is part two with Carrie Job. That's right, we're going to hear more of her worship set and get to know what she believes worship truly is through music. So let's give it up for Carrie Job.
Nothing but the blood, no. Nothing but the blood, no. for our second part of the show. The first show we talked about just about your life and how you got started. And to pick up from back there, can we just ask you how do you deal with relationships on tour? Because that's something that we were wondering. Mm -hmm. You know, your family life and friends mm -hmm. and relationships like that. How do you deal with that on tour? Well, a lot of times my family will come out and travel with me. Like my brother travels with me all the time. Okay. And my sister and then my mom and dad when they can. And then um, just friends if they're able to come out. And then when I'm home, mm -hmm. that's my time to just really yeah. just protect that time and be with my family and friends. Mm -hmm. It's great. Everybody understands and they're excited and so it works out. Cool. Well, to, to transition a little bit from that into more about worship and stuff, mm -hmm. I, I want to know what does worship mean to you? Like with music and stuff like that, what what does that all mean? I mean, that's it's such a yeah. general term. Like, Your definition. But, totally. Is. <laughs> well, when like when I think of worship, when, when, I, when you first ask me, it's a connection between us and God. Mm -hmm. And, and it's something that brings honor and glory to Him. So that doesn't have to just be music. That's just our lives. And, mm -hmm. and what we do in our lives, it, it evokes or it, re, it turns away the presence of God. So there's things that we can do that grieve the Holy Spirit, and then there's things that we do that invite the Lord into every place of our lives, you know? Mm -hmm. With worship music, to me, that's just a place of being able to connect with the Lord in a place of vulnerability and, mm -hmm. and just... You know, when a worship song comes on, it helps us pray, and it helps us repent, and it helps us draw close to the Lord. You know, you hear a song, you're like, oh, I just, I needed to hear that. Well, that is saying, I just needed a moment to, to be with the Lord and just to let His love and His restoration and who He is wash over me, you know, and yeah. it's just all, it's part of what we do in, in our lives. Yeah. It's important. As a worship leader, what do you feel is the are the main responsibilities that the Lord has given you to have that, that role? Hmm. <laughs> you know, if I don't spend time with Him by myself, I, it's so hard to lead, because mm -hmm. you can't lead people where you haven't been. Mm -hmm. And if I'm in a place of being really dry, and it, it's really hard to lead worship. But if I'm spending time in, in the quiet place and and um, having my intimate time of worship, of, of letting God's presence wash over me, I have to do that like in my hotel room or in the van or with my headphones on on an airplane or something, yeah. you know. Um, so just I have to guard that too because when you get really busy, that's the first thing that usually has to go, mm -hmm. you know, like you don't have time to do that, but I have to. Mm -hmm. I can tell when I'm not doing that. So what does it mean to actually lead worship in, in a music setting and stuff at, yeah. at a church or even in a, in a bigger sense in kind of a concert type thing when a lot of people yeah. come? What does it mean to I'm lead? I'm sure different people think of it differently. From my standpoint, when, when I'm up there, I my heart's desire is to, to draw people and help people connect with the Lord. And then once that happens, let it happen. Mm -hmm. um, I try not to over sing when, when people are just worshiping and there's just a sweet moment. Sometimes I'll even say, band, y'all just play and let people just spend time with the Lord for a few minutes. And I'll give a scripture or two to, to help direct that time. But it's, it's, a, it's a leadership thing of saying, come on, I've tasted and I've seen that He's good. Here's what God's been showing me. Here's what God's been doing. And then to just help each other. You know, I need to be led in worship mm -hmm. a lot because I, I just need to, I, um, we kind of tend to do our own things a lot. You know, we have our own worship songs we like to listen to. Well, we need to just have fresh and new perspective sometimes. Mm -hmm. And so that's kind of my job, I guess. Yeah. So this is a, it's a lot of pressure out there, you know, leading yeah. people in different things. How do you, how do you handle that kind of pressure of, of these people leading them into God and stuff like that? Oh man, I, do, I don't know. It's just, <laughs> when, it's, when it's a calling, I think you just have the grace to do what you do. You have anointing as a massive thing. If, if I didn't have the Lord's anointing on it, mm -hmm. I definitely wouldn't do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You want the Lord to bless what you're doing, and um, that just requires us being vulnerable before the Lord, staying in a place of sacrifice, pl staying in a place of, of where I'm worshiping the Lord just as much and, and not just doing it out of routine. Yeah. You know. And to go along with that, how do you handle the pressure of being, you know, you're such a phenomenon, you're not just a local worship leader, oh but gosh. everybody <laughs> sings your songs and you're traveling nationwide. Um, how do you handle that, you know, being such a phenomenon, dealing with the pressures and the extra responsibility almost? 
Yeah, um, I like to go to the spa. <laughs> <laughs> relax. <laughs> relax. I, it's super important who you surround yourself with. Mm -hmm. Because you've got people that can pour into who you are and they're going to pour into your life or they're going to take away. And I surround myself with guys that travel that love Jesus with everything they have. And they, they pour life back into me. They say, Carrie, you know, we love you. We're supporting you. We know you're tired tonight. We, we'll take up the slack. Mm -hmm. You know, um, they're anointed as well. And yeah. so it's just, it, it goes hand in hand. And uh, just realizing that in ministry, we're all in this together. I do this because I love who the Lord is. Mm -hmm. And I love people and I love when people are going through things that are, I don't love that people go through things, but I love to help in any way that I can to just say, you know what? Take off your armor tonight, lay it on the floor. Know that he's good and that he loves you and that all that you're going through and walking through, the Lord is with you. And there's nothing greater than walking out of a service or a ministry time knowing that if the Lord touched one person, it was worth it. Yeah. But he's, you know, so it's just part of it. The whole thing is ministry to me. Can you tell us a little bit about um, your style? It has a more of an intimacy and a peaceful feel. And there are worship leaders that have more of anthems. Why is that yeah. the way you write? Probably because of how I grew up. Worship to me was, was being in my bedroom, like, kind of like I said earlier, like being in a place of, of being able to pour my heart out to the Lord and connecting to the Lord. That's, that's the kind of worship I love. Yeah. So it's kind of what like lean towards. what I lean towards. And I have to write with other people to write the faster stuff. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. there's other people that have strengths, which is good. We need that. Right. In the body of Christ and in the church, we need that. Mm -hmm. We need the fast stuff. We need the anthems. And we need the intimate songs. Mm -hmm. No, I so. understand. Those are mine. So one, <laughs> one final question. What kind of advice would you give to, to young worship leaders out there that are going to their church and they want, they have big dreams and stuff like that? Yeah. What would you tell them? Yeah. Local church is the heart of God. Mm -hmm. Get involved in your local church serve where God has you, be faithful where he has you because he's so involved in the journey and not the final place. It, you'll never arrive where you want to arrive because mm -hmm. right. he's always going to be taking you. And, and so Great. fall in love, stay in love. Thank you so much for yeah. being here and joining us. We are so lucky to have you. For oh, this is great. So blessed. And your music is beautiful. Thank you. And joining us on a two special two-part. It was great. Well, thanks, guys, for joining us. And we're going to hear from Carrie a little bit more.
so much for watching Raw TV. You can check out Carrie Job and all her upcoming dates on CarrieJob.com. Exactly. And if you want to watch Raw TV on iTunes on our podcast, you can just search Raw TV Southeastern. And as always, don't forget to live, live it, it raw. raw. Let's give it up for Carrie one yep. more time.
you